Hi, I'm Cheryl. Welcome to my channel, Home Ridge Studio. Today I'm going to show you how to make this cute little Easter floral. I know it's kind of a last minute craft, but I had so much in my stash um, that I thought I'd kind of throw something together. This is uh, inspired by a project that I saw on Pinterest. Anyway, let's craft. I bought this bunny from the Dollar Tree and I removed the hanger. We don't need to patch up those holes because we're going to put paper over it. I like the front of that because it's uh, white and it looks like it's finished. So we're not going to cover the front with the paper. We're going to cover the back with the paper. And I bought this paper from Hobby Lobby. It was like 50 cents or something. And I traced the bunny onto the paper and cut it out. So, um, I was hoping to have enough glue and my glue stick and I did not and I didn't have another glue stick so I decided to use some tacky glue instead and the tacky glue is from the uh, Dollar Tree. I don't recommend this at all because it was it was a mess. It kept drying and you guys probably know this but I didn't it kept drying up on me and Think the glue was a little bit old and it was clumpy and it, it was just a mess and you'll see here I was really kind of struggling with this but I tried I did the best I could so it was easy putting the paper on the bunny but it was, the difficult thing was, like I said, the glue um, dried up and it was just drying too quick. So I craft on my counter in my kitchen. It's my island actually, and this is granite. I know I shouldn't do it, but I do. I've got paint on it. Uh, glue on it, hot glue, you name it. It gets really messy. And I know better. I should put something below it. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. But anyway, this is why I'm trying to clean it up. So you see how I can peel this up. It's not sticking because the glue has already dried. And, and I peeled the ear up and it tore the paper. And I don't know, this was just a hot mess. And so I recommend Mod Podge. So I broke my Mod Podge out and I put Mod Podge on the top of it and then on the sides of it. Um, it was still, it was still peeling, so I had to peel it up and put Mod Podge underneath it, and it was just a mess. And then I took a sanding block and um, in downward strokes just sand off the entire body. And that takes a while because there's so many little crevices. So this tin is from the Dollar Tree and the styrofoam is from the Dollar Tree also. This is the heavy duty stuff. Uh, it's not the floral foam. A lot of people hot glue that down. I like to take the paper off. And so I am going to show you real time how difficult it is to cut this foam. But it's good. It's heavy duty and that's what I like about it. The flower stems stay in there a little bit better, I think anyway. So. Um, this is a serrated knife, a very large serrated knife, as you can see, and I'm going really slow. I'm not going to cut it through to scratch my counter, but um, it, it took a while for me to cut this in half. 
So if you do this, obviously be very careful and you should probably put something below it so it doesn't slip. So place them in your tin where the jagged side is up. So the cut side is up. So the bottom side, we're going to hot glue down there and it, it, so it'll be flat. And then I put the hot glue in the tin, not on the foam because um, it'll melt the foam. These two pieces fit in there pretty snug. So these are all flowers from the Dollar Tree. Um, I just picked flowers to match the flowers on the bunny, as you can see up close. Um, there's, there are daisies, and I was able to match them with what I had. Um, these are all from the Dollar Tree, except for the white daisies, I believe, were from Hobby Lobby. And they were $3.99 for a stem. And I believe I got 40% off of that too. And that's my guinea pig in the background. She's hungry. She's looking for some lettuce, so she's going to be squeaking until she gets it. Anyway, the carrots are from the Dollar Tree, and then this um, little hanging sign is from the Dollar Tree, too. It had um, uh, watering cans on it, and I thought that would be cute, maybe for the front of the tin. So right here, I'm just going to clip off all of the flowers, and then I'm going to add them right in the center. So the tallest ones and the biggest ones are in the center. And now I'm taking the little Hobby Lobby florals or daisies and I'm putting them down in the front. So far that's what it looks like. And now I think it needs some greenery and all of these greens are from the Dollar Tree. I'm just deciding what greens I'm going to use and I like these so I'm going to clip each one of these off also with some wire cutters and you should always use wire cutters to cut your flowers and not scissors because you'll ruin your scissors.
So I put this fern sprig um, right in the middle. I couldn't clip the pieces off or the whole thing would fall apart. So I had to put the whole um, piece right in the middle. And I didn't like the darker green ones. I thought it really didn't go with the paper on the bunny, so I clipped them off. But the whole stem I had to put in there, like I said. So I'm going to pop that bunny in there and see what it looks like. And so far, I really like this piece. Now this is just a, um, a you know, shish kebab stick. You get them from the Dollar Tree. And I'm measuring it to see how long it needs to be. I'm going to glue it on the back of that bunny. So I put hot glue on both sides of that. And to make it permanent, I'm going to put some E6000. And I just took a toothpick and I'm just kind of smearing the E6000 on both sides. And I just waited until the hot glue dried and I popped that money right down there in the foam. And then I put some hot glue on the foam in the stick. And you can use any kind of uh, moss that you like. I have all kinds from the Dollar Tree. But my favorite is the Spanish moss. So wherever you see a hole in the tin, just pop some in there. Um, I did hot glue that down. I didn't film that part, but I did. And this is what it looks like so far. And then here's that watering can that I took off from that um, piece from the Dollar Tree. And I thought that yellow was perfect, the yellow color. It matches the flowers in the bunny paper. And so I some E6000 and also some hot glue on it. So the E6000, it takes about 24 hours to dry, but it's permanent and the hot glue will adhere immediately. And I made a simple little shoelace bow out of this ribbon that I got from Hobby Lobby. The same kind of bow for the little bunny's ear and then I uh, clipped off one of those daisies and I put it on the bow on the bunny's ear and these carrots I took one of them and I clipped off the end of the stick and pop that right into the container Voila, we are done. And this is what the end project looks like. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you have a very blessed Easter. And don't forget, if you like the content, please like and subscribe to my channel. If you're already a subscriber, thank you so much. Have a blessed Easter. Bye.